नमस्ते माय नेम इज डॉक्टर रमन कुमार आई एम द नेशनल प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द एकेडमी ऑफ फैमिली फिजिशियंस ऑफ इंडिया आई एम आल्सो द कन्वीनर ऑफ द स्पेशलिस्ट बोर्ड इन फैमिली मेडिसिन एट नेशनल बोर्ड ऑफ एग्जामिनेशंस अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर ऑन नाइनटींथ ऑफ मे वी सेलिब्रेट वर्ल्ड फैमिली डॉक्टर्स डे सो दिस इज अ वेरी स्पेशल डे टू एक्नॉलेज एंड रिकोगनाइज द सर्विस ऑफ फैमिली डॉक्टर्स फैमिली फिजिशियंस नॉट ओनली इंडिया बट अक्रॉस वर्ल्ड दिस डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड अंडर द बैनर ऑफ वोंका world organization of family doctors and in india also we have been celebrating it but uh, after this pandemic we are uh, starting uh, to mark this day with more vigor and more uh, you know at a scaled up level and the theme for this year is uh, uh, family doctors are always there to care so that means uh, you know if you look at the covid pandemic situation uh, our family doctors were working day and night to provide services to their communities to the families uh, in their vicinity at their clinics at home so this is an opportunity for community also to acknowledge the role of family doctors and we have a huge need of family physicians in india our population is 1.3 billion and we have high morbidity of all types non communicable diseases we still have communicable diseases so uh, a one doctor can provide uh, services to all age groups all genders all organ systems in the community setting and this is why the role of family physicians becomes very very important uh, in our country uh, which has a huge population uh, the world organization of family doctors which i mentioned in the beginning is the international organization which supports training and development of family medicine the practice of family doctors and this organization is based currently in brussels and it has uh, uh, membership across 110 countries and 130 organizations are member of this country we academy of family physicians of india are also member of this organizations and through this platform we maintain high level of standards academics and we support our members to develop skills and competencies in india so we have been going through one of the biggest challenges of health system Uh, of this century and after the uh, the pandemic which was there in 20s now we are having this covid pandemic global uh, since 2020 and during past 3 years we have seen uh, various kind of challenges and pressures on the health systems especially during the second wave of covid when there were uh, there was a huge surge of cases across india and across globe also we saw there were shortage of beds there were shortage of uh, uh, good medical advice and in that situation a lot of people communities and population had to depend on their family physicians and their nearby doctors and family physician rose to this opportunity and they have taken care a huge chunk of population who were facing covid pandemic and thereby they could prevent large number of hospitalizations and reduce pressure on hospitals which were already under pressure because of the uh, various serious level of mortality morbidity that was prevalent during that situation so even after covid a uh, lot of patients are consulting continue to consulting their family physicians now again we had third wave and still uh, it is becoming more and more like endemic in our community so uh, Uh, and covid being a multi system disease it impacts almost all bodies so most of the common problems related to covid and majority of the morbidity i can say up to 90% can be handled by a competent family physicians and same is being done throughout india so we are very proud and that is the reason we are celebrating now world family doctors day we saw in the beginning uh, the isolation and quarantine facilities were kept outside community outside home and this organized quarantines uh, were sufficient in the beginning but as we saw the surge in the covid cases gradually it became apparent that this can only be handled at home so most of the quarantine and isolations later on by the our authorities were recommended to be done at home during the second wave especially and during this period uh, most of the home based care services were provided by family physicians and people dependent on their nearby doctors for advices on their day to day monitoring their day to day symptoms as you know symptoms varied from person to person it also varied from day to day 
So a close monitoring was required and this could not be done remotely from hospitals and nearby family doctors, family physicians contributed a lot during home health, uh, for home health care during this pandemic. And uh, this scenario has uh, uh, kind of, you know, ignited a renewed interest in home health care because there was a time when family physicians used to go and visit homes, but then this system, this tradition was on decline. And now again, this is again taking up and more and more doctors are committing themselves for home health care. And we are seeing this is becoming emerging as an important part of the training of family physicians or family medicine specialists in India. We can say that there is top level support for establishing family medicine system or family physicians care system in India. And very recently, only last month, we had a meeting with Niti Ayo, uh, at the initiative of Niti Ayo. There is a plan to establish Department of Family Medicine, which will train family physicians across India. So these courses would be offered at all new All India Institute of Medical Sciences. And we hope soon this plan will be rolled out. So uh, earlier, we have a huge public health system, but there was no formal position for family physicians to be employed in the public health system. Uh, public health system, I mean to say the government owned or government uh, uh, control uh, uh, healthcare institutions. So recently, uh, a new Indian public health standard has been released which clearly states uh, that there should be position for a trained family physician within the health system. And now we see that positions have been created for family physicians, family medicine specialists at community health centers, district hospitals, and uh, you know all levels of healthcare uh, institutions. So uh, this is a very welcome change and uh, it's a huge policy level change. And we see in future, in coming future, we will have formally trained family physician employed within the health systems. I'm also the convener of the specialist board in family medicine at National Board of Examination, which conducts DNB postgraduate programs across India. And for past two, three years, we have been developing a new curriculum, uh, a national curriculum of family medicine postgraduate level. And this has been designed, formally released. And now there is plan to scale up the training programs, the number of training sites, and new accreditations of training positions training sites have been started and we will see that in near future uh, there is a plan to scale up to 5000 training seats or postgraduate pg seats in india across uh, you know various parts of our country and uh, this is again uh, will have a, a, a huge bearing on the availability of family physician services across india